Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to do an update to uh, one of my more popular videos on the channel and that's removing your graphics cards. Now it can be a challenge and tricky but with a couple of suggestions, the right tools and I'm also going to answer some of the questions that a lot of people ask on what to do and some other things that I've learned from my experience that makes this a lot easier. So first things first, here's the scenario and this is where you're really going to run into this. You got this monster cooler. This is a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5. It takes up a lot of real estate over here and you have a Chungus graphics card. If you look right in there, uh, see if we can get you better right in there. There you go. You can see the lever right over there. That's the lever that we need to push down to uh, remove our graphics cards. But my big meat digits will not fit in there so I can't push it down. This is where tools are important. This to me, in my opinion, is the best tool to use. Obviously you don't have it. Um, there are other suggestions that I will mention, but this is a trim tool. It's a pry tool for trim for automotive to remove the dash so you don't scratch it or break it. I like it because it's tough, it's flexible, it's durable, and mostly it's plastic. You wanna use plastic because if you slip and hit the motherboard, you're least likely to damage it with this tool. Now. This is where most people get into trouble. They use a screwdriver and the screwdriver is absolutely the worst thing you can do because metal is harder than the motherboard. Obviously when you use it, if you slip, it's gonna damage your motherboard. More than likely to do it. I've slipped and I've never damaged the motherboard with this, not saying that it can't happen, but it's least likely to happen. So use this. Another thing you can use, chopsticks work really good. Tongue depressors, some people use popsicle sticks. I like this because if the latch is really, really stuck, you could put more pressure with this and it's going to give some, but it's not going to give enough like the uh, tongue depressor or popsicle sticks or the chopsticks would that it might break. So I like to use this. I'll post a link. They're like five, six, maybe $10. I don't know. You could get a cheap pack on Amazon and not only can you remove your graphics card with it, but you could also work on your car. So pretty cool. Now onto my wall of shame. This is typically what the lever is going to look like. So I call this the wall of shame because um, damaged motherboards, bent pins, you know, stuff that uh, I've made mistakes or I bought things on eBay and they've gotten damaged. But anywho, this is the typical lever that you're going to see. And typically you just got to push this down and the graphics card comes right out. Now to show proof of concept so it's easier to see, you're just going to push it down just like so. So you would come in right in that little gap, push this thing down. And once that's down, slide the graphics card out. Now there is a way to slide the graphics card out. There are some issues that you're gonna run into and um, I'll show you on the computer over there. But typically, like I said, just push it down and it slides right out. And the reason, like I said, I like using this is if you slip just like so. Least likely to damage. Now there are these little things over here that you probably could pop out. So kind of keep that in mind. But let's say you was to use Mr. Metal Screwdriver, you know, you slip. And this is typically, focus, focus. What I see is that you'll get a scratch on the motherboard and if you scratch one of the traces, the motherboard is junk. And you're not gonna be able to arm any of that, folks. Now there are some different types of lever mechanisms. Um, this is more the standard one that you will see. As you can see, when you push down on it, it's supposed to push the graphics card up this way. And then you kind of teeter-totter it back this way and they slide out. I'll show you when we get to that. Older motherboards, they had this type of style. I wasn't a huge fan of it because as you can see, uh, yeah, you gotta kind of push it out, slides it right out, and then, you know, yeah, I just, I did not like that design. First thing I suggest is research what type of latching mechanism that you have, get the right tools, and then do it. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at this computer and let me show you how to remove it. Now, first things first, you wanna make sure that your computer is unplugged. That is important. Unplug your computer, you don't want any power going to it. I've actually had situations where I left it plugged in, I removed the graphics card and the computer turns on. So computer's off, no power. Let's remove this power connector. Now with this Zotac card, the little uh, tab to hold this in is in the bottom. So we're just gonna slide this, push it up. And I've done this enough times where I sh should be able to do it without having to look into it. There we go. Now I am upgrading my graphics card. There'll be a dedicated video just on that, but take out your screws and that way this thing is loose and ready to go. Let's get this out completely. Now here's another part that people tend to forget. 
this is not the situation for every situation, but this is something to keep in mind. This screw right over here, sometimes when you screw it in, it actually tightens this. The screw can actually sit and create pressure on this. And then when you go to remove the graphics card, it's kind of being held up on this. So typically the screw below, I take it out. And as you can see, when I did that, you see how the graphics card got released. There we go. And then I take out this cover. And now my graphics card is free. So don't forget, remove the bottom screw. So now that everything is loose, connectors are out, you're good to go. What you wanna do is put one hand and support the graphics card. And we wanna get in here, find that little lever, and gently push down. It doesn't require a ton of pressure to remove. See, I've already put my tool on it, it's already moved back, and that's it. While I'm doing that, I'm wiggling the card left and right. And as you can see, it comes out just like so. Remember, wiggle it left and right, nice and easy. It doesn't require a ton of pressure to pull out and the graphics card should easily come out. Now, here's another suggestion and I've run into this a few times and this is something to kind of keep in mind. Number one, people tell me all the time, well, I've done that and the graphics card still won't come out. Depending on the case you're using, sometimes the tolerances, the clearances are a little tighter than it should be. What I've had to do in the past that's actually worked for me, you never really want to force the graphics card out. You damage those little, uh, that PCB, that connector, or whatever you call that thing, it's done for. So something else that I will do is I will actually loosen the screws on the motherboard. I don't, I'm not taking them out. but I loosen the screws and I do that all the way around. And the reason why I do that is, is it allows the motherboard to shift ever so slightly just to give me enough clearance to slide the graphics card out. Sometimes the big hang up is that it gets stuck right over here and by loosening it, it gives you a little more room to kind of wiggle it out. That's not the situation every time, but something to keep in mind. And finally, another suggestion um, if you're not comfortable using the pry tool and you just can't seem to get it and you just already accidentally hit the motherboard but you don't see any damage, take off the CPU cooler. By taking it off, it allows you to see the latch and then you can actually do it with your hand. It makes it a lot simpler. Now, another thing too, I did this with the computer standing up. I don't recommend doing that. Lay it flat. The reason why I'm doing it this way is so you can see it a lot better. We could get a better camera angle, but lay the computer flat still support the graphics card, hit that lever, wiggle it back and forth and push it out nice and easy. Now some motherboard manufacturers, they've actually done it right and they actually created a button that you push that pops out the graphics card. So that's really nice. Now another common question that I do get and I've actually did a dedicated video on this and I'll post a link to it. What do I do if I break this off? Do I need to replace it? Can I replace it? Well, here's the thing. Can you replace it? Probably not. Just from my experience, probably not. Is your graphics card done for if it's broken? No. Is your motherboard done for if it's broken? No. You can still use the motherboard. In fact, now it's going to come out easier than before. This holds it in place and gives you that security, but if your computer's in a place that you're not going to move it around or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you have to move your computer around or if you're having to travel with your computer and you turn your computer on and this latch is broken, then obviously reseat the graphics card. That's my biggest recommendation. It's not the end of the world. In the video I did, I broke these and I did a whole bunch of scenarios, even one where I just shook the computer like crazy. And even with this thing broken, it's still held in place and the computer worked fine. So just kind of keep that in mind, folks. So I hope this video helps clarify some things, give you some quick suggestions on how to remove the graphics card. Like I said, proper tools, this is the big thing that I have found with the screw below it. it. Makes it so much easier. So hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms, any suggestions that you recommend that makes this a lot easier. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what we come up with next.